river is a lot more powerful than you can control and that you know it's it's about not mastering the river but kind of making your way down through it and always maintaining that respect for the white water because uh, if you let your guard down you'll get a little wake up call. It's always good to come back to Hooker Falls. It's uh, a rapid and, and waterfall that I'd always wanted to paddle as an aspiring young kayaker and you know it's, it's a river and a rapid that has a lot of mana about it and uh, it's the closest we come to as kayakers of, of kayaking the stadium you know because you've got people watching on the sidelines cheering you and it's, it's almost like an arena feel there and um, you know I was hanging out in the sun and, and chilling and, and looking at the river and it's, it's kind of then in your preparation that you sort of start to feel, you know, a little bit of nervousness and, and trepidation and I always like it when you like put your kayaking gear on and go into game mode and that, and you know, all of a sudden it, everything becomes a lot more relaxed, you know, no more standing around looking about it, thinking about it, it's time to go. It's basically a 800 metre long gorge that's made up of about four different rapids. There's a, an entry drop where you drop in, and once you've dropped into that rapid, it's the entrance of the gorge, and, you, and you're committed to the rest of the run, and the only way out is to head downstream. You've then got a bit of a ferry to the left-hand side of the river above the, above the weir, and that, to me, is probably the crux of the run. It, it doesn't look that visually spectacular, but it's probably the place where you most likely get it, to get tripped up, and it's, it's the spot in this rapid where people have had the most mishaps and accidents. So, Bust out that, under the bridge, give a wave to the crowd, and then you drop into what's known as the pencil sharpener. And, and what you really appreciate when you're down in there is that it's a big, long, steep ramp into a big V-wave that's got some pretty funky currents out the back, get your wits about you, and then uh, line up the, the final drop over the main waterfall. And basically what you're doing there is you're busting through two little wave holes, and then there's a big rooster tail that you just line up the top of that and uh, pretty much send it, and the rest is history. I mean, water, I guess, is the ultimate force of nature. It, it's always changing. It's super strong and powerful, and it does weird things. It's unpredictable. It always comes back to respecting the river, and I mean, you have scary moments, and that's inevitable when you're paddling hard white water, but the risks are worth it, because you get to see some amazing places and paddle some pretty amazing pieces of white water, and I mean, when you're doing that, what well, could be better? Thank you.